Hello everyone, how's it going? Edit here again. In today's video, we're going to be having a look at Game Boy Light replacement parts. I've just done a video on a uh, Game Boy Light, it's a Toys R Us version. Um, I did a little let's refurb. Fortunately, all of the parts on that I was able to use again. The stickers were all intact, the screen lens was fine. However, if you buy one of those and it doesn't have a screen lens or a battery cover or a couple of the stickers are ripped, I'm going to show you the fix and the solution and the source where you can actually replace those bits. So I've recently started doing a lot of spray painting of shells. I did one um, gold, it was a Game Boy Pocket shell. Uh, the actual video went, ended up being on Lad Bible, which was quite funny. I recently did a Let's Refurb where I painted a Game Boy Pocket shell blue, which I think has turned out looking absolutely awesomely. Um, when you do that, obviously you're gonna to need to take the stickers off the back. The two main Game Boy lights are a painted plastic. And what actually happens, that paint must be like a metal based paint because it actually corrodes and peels off and rubs away. Um, so if you ever see a Game Boy Light or a Game Boy Pocket in gold or silver, you'll notice that there's like some rubbed marks um, and you can't clean those off. So if you buy a Game Boy Light and you want to paint it like I've done with this one, um, then you'll need to learn a couple of things. So one of those is actually how to paint it. Um, and I would just advise using some 600 grit um, wet and dry sandpaper. You could work your way up if you want, but 600 grit seems to be a good um, like grit to me. Don't rub too hardly. I actually started off with like a 400 grit and then worked my way up and I've actually kind of like smoothened the, um, the edges somewhat. It's not quite as like sharp as it was. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you can notice that there. And I've also kind of rubbed away the Nintendo logo. In this one, it's embedded um, and the game with pocket, it's like extruded or protruded, whatever. Um, so just be really careful. And also the start and select um, has slightly been rubbed away. But I've learned from my mistakes and this has um, mainly, for the most part, come out looking gorgeous. Um, I don't have any uh, picture of what this looked like beforehand, but I can absolutely assure you that it was ruined, it was destroyed. And uh, this is just a spare shell that I have uh, lying around, so I just thought it'd be fun to, um, to give it a go painting it. If you want to order a replacement battery cover, you can do. I've found a seller that actually sells official replacement battery covers, but they're £20 each, and I want to find a Game Boy Light for £20. So I found a solution. So there's a guy on eBay who 3D prints um, the replacement battery covers. Now, if you have a 3D printer, you can actually print this yourself. I'll leave the file to that in the description below. And um, this is actually quite a viable method. So here's a, um, a Game Boy Light then without a battery cover on the back. And it comes down, you can order um, them in different colors. He'll do like different colors for you. Um, I'm not sure whether he'll do like a silver and a gold one, but that's not gonna finish the same anyway. But if you're just looking for something to cover up your batteries on your Game Boy Light, um, this looks good. It's probably not gonna be as sturdy as an official one because obviously this is like a filament which is printed in lots of layers. Um, one, the first one that he sent me actually came down it cracked um, in the post, which is a big shame. Um, but then I just took that opportunity to see what it looked like if I painted it. And um, you can see on the top one here, once I sanded it down enough, um, it's actually come out looking like a solid piece of plastic. But there's other areas where the, uh, the lines from the 3D print have still come through. It's a really, really awkward thing to sand. But for the most part, it look, came out looking pretty good. So there's your options. You can either spend 20 pounds, or I think this was around about four pounds um, and then you can still at least cover up your, your batteries and it's still you know, a viable method. It makes it nice and comfy to play, um, so that's pretty good. So next up, let's talk about screen lenses. I've ordered lots of Game Boy Lights in the past and unfortunately, sometimes these screens are scratched. But unfortunately, when you have deep scratches like that, um, it's not really viable to be using these. Little scuffs and, and scratches around the sides isn't too bad, but that's right on the part that you're gonna be seeing. And as you turn it, you can see the depth of the scratch. So you can buy replacement Game Boy Light screen lenses. As of yet, I'm not able to find glass ones, but the plastic ones are a little bit more authentic anyway. And you can see here that this is pretty goddamn good. Um, compared to an official one, if I put that on top, you can hardly tell 
which one's the aftermarket one. It still has the, uh, the shine on there as well, which is really, really nice. So I think these are around about four or five pounds as well. Everything that I'm mentioning in this video, um, you'll find the links to in the description. Next up, let's have a look at stickers. So a lot of the stickers that you'll see on um, old Game Boys, um, they're losing their kind of um, silver part around the back. I'm not really sure how that happens, but it rubs away and um, then you don't quite get a nice um, silver sticker. There's also a, another kind of coat of um, plastic on this uh, sticker on the top. Now, what that can do is crease and you can kind of see there that it's begun to crease. And then after that, dirt gets underneath it. So it starts looking uh, not very nice. You can actually take that off and separate that layer. I have done that in the past and then put like some um, sellotape over the top. And uh, that is actually quite a viable method. It does work, but it doesn't ever look quite as good as a nice new sticker. So there is some sellers that sell replacement stickers and they look absolutely excellent. They've also got replacement serial number stickers as well. The only downside of that is that we're all gonna have the same Game Boy Light, but that's fine. And you can see there that that looks like a brand new Game Boy Light. It looks absolutely gorgeous. If you didn't already know, the buttons are all available from existing Game Boys. So the A and B are from a Game Boy Color, um, and that's really convenient because if you spray paint this shell, unlike the Game Boy Pocket, where the um, A and B and Start and Select are painted on, on this, the Start and Select is, um, it sticks out, it's extrude, protruded, um, and then the A and B, obviously, it's in the A and B um, button itself. So you can replace those from a Game Boy Color. The D-pad, you can replace from a Game Boy Pocket, as well as the um, Start and Select, and then obviously the membranes are the same as a Game Boy Pocket. So that's pretty good. The only thing that you can't replace, unfortunately, is the power switch. The power switch on this is slightly different, so that's something to bear in mind. If you see one with a missing power switch or a broken power switch, it's gonna be a little bit tricky. Um, but there we go. This is possibly one of the first videos on YouTube of documented replacement parts for a Game Boy Light. Um, I've actually got another uh, set of replacement stickers in here because I just wanted to get some stocked up. I love Game Boy Lights. They're my favorite Game Boy of all time. So I've got these saved for a rainy day when I get another Game Boy Light. So I hope you have all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Let me know how you get on with your Game Boy Lights. Don't be afraid to buy them as they seem. They're basically the same as a Game Boy Pocket, just with a backlight already in it. Join my Facebook group, the Retro Future Community page. I'll put a link to that as well. And share with me how you get on with your painting and your, spray and your 3D printing and um, your sticker replacing. I'd love to hear about it. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.